hello there welcome into sage sunset healing tarot thank you so much for being here and i hope that you're doing well oh so today we're taking a look at the lion's gate portal we're gonna all right first we're gonna be taking a brief look at what's coming up for you and this is a message for the general collective we're gonna look at what's coming up for you in the month of august what to expect overall for the collective energies on the planet the first card that came out for you the ace of hearts and then on the bottom of the deck we have the ace of swords so of course we see newness coming in here and it feels like a uh, new love mm. yes uh, the collective will be experiencing a shift in the dynamic of how we've been loving and healing ourselves so i feel like we'll find an oh, oh, oh it's like divine alignment with planetary energies that source of love connecting to source love and i feel literally walking in alignment like being grounded in this in this vibration for the first time knowing who you are so i feel like people will literally be walking on the earth in a way where it's like we're elect we're plugged in that's the energy plugging in i feel like plugging into the currents of the earth the vibration the frequencies and that's how it, and it's coming through love because we know that love is the ultimate vibration on this planet and that's how things keep growing and flourishing and just always changing right the ace of swords for me feels like it feels like it's saying a new sense of stability a sense of belonging of worth knowing who you are knowing where you came from your identity your sense of self okay so <clears throat> let's see what's coming up what's going on what's, what's going gonna come up for the collective in the month of august angels first and guys this is a collective reading for august for the energies on the planet we have the seven of cups so I feel like uh, hmm, a lot of, I feel like the energy is saying, <coughs> the energy is saying for many people, there will be confusion. Ooh, oh my gosh, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Let me tell you, the energy is, we'll be seeing things, we'll be in disbelief. Uh, many people not everyone but many people will be in disbelief at what they'll be seeing because i do feel like aliens may be coming to the planet and we say they're aliens but it's because we're not used to these life forms so i do feel people looking up and being confused as emotionally because it's something new that's how i'm feeling and looking in wonder in disbelief in uh in doubts you know wondering what's going on should i trust this what's what's really happening here on this planet but i feel like we c we will be able to trust this angelic presence that's coming angels or aliens whatever the case may be right i feel like we will be able to trust this this because it will be genuine it will be real okay that's how i'm feeling there's work to be done on the planet too i do feel like people will be will be uh will, will be set to work that's the energy you know like put to work oh my god it's like whenever i'm doing tarot i cannot find the right words as if i put to work people will be put to work put to work on this planet that's how i'm feeling so uh, you know not 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 like slavery but through will through love through healing that's what i'm saying healing and well-being because we're real we're waking up to the truth of who we are that we are one with this planet we are one with this with this earth with the temperance energy and so i feel i feel people happily going to work whether that's planting trees whether that's helping the planet to heal helping the nation to heal your society or your community whatever environment you're in this is also self-work people are little and it's so beautiful they're happy people are happily working it's dwarf energy because dwarves are very happy when they're digging gold mining treasures you know that the, what you're working toward so that's the energy i feel like the planet will or people on the planet will have a purpose will know eat i feel like uh each each individual person will have an idea of why they're putting in the work why they're working what they're working toward 
you know, either I'm going to see to the, the uh, what I should say, the protection of our animals, or I'm going to see to healing of mental, mental healing. Kelly, Kelly, yeah, I make too much noise. Mental healing, right? This could be mental healing. This can be uh, whatever work, uh, planting trees. This can be preserving our history. You know, this can be studying more, learning more so that you can teach others. Whatever it is, I feel like each person is stepping up to the plate to really um, heal this planet. I love it. It's so beautiful because there's an awakening coming for many. The Seven of Cups energy, it feels like plenty. A lot of people will be looking up, looking around, wondering, like in awe, wondering what's going on. Like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And, and do you see this? It is in the shape of a flying saucer. It has magical energy surrounding it too. So I do feel like people will be seeing the presence of aliens ascending or trans are descending on. It's like amazing. And, and yes, I do believe that there are other, um, there are other, pe there are other aliens have, have, but they have been here, but I feel like they'll, they'll be presenting themselves, uh, just, just coming in, just showing themselves to us. And it's like, will we believe? And I feel like there, there will always, there'll also be illusions. Uh, what is the word? The energy is when someone tries to, they see that something real is coming. And so they try to create a, a camouflage or a knockoff of the real thing to say it is a conspiracy. Oh, yes. Like to say it is a conspiracy or it is not real to try to debunk the aliens. So people will come in and say, there'll be some some situations where we'll see um people coming out and say oh i saw an alien and then maybe these people will be called crazy or some alien may be found and then it, it's just like this feeling of there there is there there will be this the there, there there will be real like real what we call aliens but then other people i cannot find my words but then other people or societies will try to create the false a false alien presence just to debunk it so that we don't really so that we stay confused or in disbelief about what's really here and how it is here for us but i do feel like they will fail because in the end i see us on this planet working together it's so beautiful i literally the energy of this planet is so beautiful i feel like we'll be shifting in in a vibration where we're, we're literally working to, to create our vision. Any other messages for the collective when, in August? So all of this shift is taking place in August. So bit, listen, so we may encounter these alien presence in, in August. And I mean, it's going to be global. It's going to be on the news. Okay, it's not about flying to space. It's, it's more, it's on the news. People are saying, hey, we spotted, we saw a, a UFO and all these things. I'm telling you, and a lot of people will be seeing these things. A lot of people from all over the world, all across the world. You've seen those movies where everyone from across the world at the, at the same time gets, gets wind of something coming to Earth. And, and it, we're, going to, we're going to be rebuilding this planet. All right. And it's done out of just sheer love, devotion for the planet. What's to come? Hmm. See, Earth is a very valuable place. It's not a. It's not a place. It's not a commodity. It's, it's, it's not a commodity. It's uh. It's more like a highly. It's oh my God. Earth is so abundant. Earth literally glows with abundance. Do you see all this green? Oh my gosh, all this green, this wealth vibration is literally glow. Earth is an abundant planet. Naturally abundant. Earth is wealthy, literally. And all of the beings on Earth are wealthy. The cells of Earth are wealthy. Earth is wealthy. And so we've been living in some delusions here and lies on this planet. We, we're supposed to be able to, there's so much wealth and prosperity here in this, on this earth. 
it's unbelievable remember that things just keep growing and flourishing and just re just that's how like this earth is and it and it's not it's in a cycle it's actually evolving earth is just continuously evolving and changing and that's what makes it wealthy that's wealth the potential for more and earth is always more i feel like that's how earth is and so i feel we'll be getting some visits or what is this this is saying now that hmm what is this it's like um earth is so abundant i'm viewing earth from outside okay and i'm seeing the earth as abundant an abundant place like everyone knows that that's what and and i feel a lot of music too like earth is the the hip this hip place where there's like dance life going on and music and disco like the ball the earth the ball of earth is so vibrant and always yay there's a party going on on earth all the time and like i feel outsiders view this you see what i'm saying outsiders are viewing this they want to come into this party the music on earth is earth earth oh my god earth The wavelengths of Earth has uh, summoned or called in or have reached the the ears of others. It's literally like vibrating Earth, and then other people can and and not everyone like it. Honestly, not every not every other planet or every other universe appreciates. The thumping uh, vibration of, of earth that is always so wealthy and vibrant and I do feel music like there's a party on earth all day like people are happy when you come into earth there's laughter joy it's like whoa it's like walking into a happy house a happy crowd like so when they come in this is how they feel about earth but I do feel like not everyone appreciates this or likes this because we are able to find our happiness internally you know the people on earth are happy that's how i'm feeling but it's also telling me that um that some people coming into earth may see that we're happy under the like we're not paying attention to what we're really supposed to do you know like people that are just playing music and having a good time and not realizing that they they're 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 basically not free but they have they're living under under an illusion that they are free you know so that's the energy I'm getting. Like uh, so someone may be looking at Earth or something and saying, "Well, look at these people. They're just over there dancing and having fun and playing music and wealthy." But that's not the only mission. There's something that is. It's almost like it is saying, "We're like underneath a spell." I feel honestly, it's like a, a hypnotism that keeps us dancing to music. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh, listen to this. It's more this hypnotic. This hypnotism that makes us dance and I feel the moon energy on earth is powerful it's amazing the moon for earth is amazing this hypno and the moon may have something to do with the oh my god the moon energy this is water sign cancer Pisces Scorpio the moon energy for her earth is a bit hypnotic you know, it's like that spell. When the moon rises, people start to dance. You know, that's the energy. So it's like a warning to some people to say, why are you really dancing? Are you under a spell? Are you truly happy? To some. So I feel like there's a bit of jealousy about how happy people can be. And there's a bit of uh, intolerance because we're supposed to be, like, Earth is supposed to be more serious and we're supposed to be evolving and going here. But look at them over there just having a blast and partying okay okay let's continue hmm the five of cups you know what let me do that. i forgot something i didn't do something so maybe i was wrong all right let's see what the future of earth is the death energy the lover's energy and the ten of pentacles okay so wealth and alignment oh something is moving out 
what is that <laughs> the tower on the bottom of the deck <laughs> a phase or a cycler something huge is ending that has to do with the the lovers and the ten of pentacles it feels like is it separation it feels like something is pulling everything is as one because something was two you know it's two things Maybe masculine and feminine with the lover's energy. But I feel the death energy is pulling only one string. And that one string unites both energies. And that is how it, le it is ending. It's pulling it out. It's like it's a new attempt for something new. It's a time for something new. What is this? Let's get some clarifications. This is a death energy, angel spirits and guys. Okay, so I do feel unity, one collectiveness, one collectiveness. One aim, one intention, one focus, one trust, one direction, following one's heart. It's like everything will be coming together. All of the experiences we've had, it feels like... Um, all, I feel like all past, with the Six of Cups energy that presents here, and the two, it feels like all past life, soulmates, everything is one. No, it's just, it's one. It's just one. It's not two anymore. It's like an end to this idea of two. Masculine and feminine are two energies are, or any separation at all. With It's like realizing that, um, Everything was one thing all along. Or not, not, it was all. Oh. It's like it's time to collect everything and gather up in one. Okay? It's like realizing you're not separate from anything. You're all. It's like this collective energy pulling the curtain on this idea of separation, being separate from other people. And you and and actually uniting as one energy. In one movement, in one purpose, and I feel like that's how the earth itself ascends. This awakening that we're going through is literally for the earth. And each cell, which is humanity, each individual is supposed to awaken and realize it is its purpose. And then when I feel, when everyone awakens and realizes their true purpose, the, the planet itself awakens and realizes its true purpose. So when everyone is, is working on what their true purpose is, it's as if the earth itself is working in its, in its true purpose and ready to ascend. But the cells have to evolve. The cells themselves, which is us, literally need to evolve we need to maybe disassociate with our past our childhood experiences there's a, something about this unity when it comes to all that we've experienced and it's about listen remember that we're experiencing the lion's gate energy the queen of cups hey we're experiencing oh yes we're experiencing experiencing lion's gate energy and it feels like this is the, just the end to that. That being even being separated from your dreams. What are your dreams? Thinking that your dreams and your wishes are separate from you. Oh my God! I feel like I'm having deja vu. Even saying I'm having even all of this, 
is deja vu oh my god all of it i feel like i've done this a long time <gasps> that's the energy listen 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 i feel like i've done this a long time ago now uh -uh. and i've also done it in the future and like it's like a past but it's also the future what i'm doing now it's so strange it's what i'm experiencing but then it all comes back down to the present now you know what i'm saying it all is aligning in now so it is not about the past or any deja vu or any soul connections or any lifetimes i've lived or anything that i can visualize for my future or predict in my future it is saying like all is now and that is i feel like all is now so when we believe that we are separate from our dreams or wishes like manifestation is like this because you ask you, you it's not like you even ask for it you will it in your being and it is all it is here and this i feel is the fifth dimension that we're heading into okay we're about to create and there's a lot of healing i mentioned going on on this planet 21 minutes Shh. There's a lot of healing going on on this planet now, okay? So it's time to focus and to come, come together with everything that we are. Those of us who are spiritual workers, I feel meditation and breathing to become present now is super important for the collective to even have a vision, oh my God, of the, of the dream, the destiny of this planet. Look. That is the Queen of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles visualizing and focusing in, on one destiny. And I feel like when the majority of this planet do have this one vision of one destiny working in accordance with the well-being of the planet, which is aligning with the love and nurturing and care. This is water energy. This is cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is nurturing, loving, healing, well-being. And a lot of women are, and feminine, divine feminine will be stepping up here. Even though I'm saying there's no separation, it's just that the intention of the divine feminine is to work in alignment with the love and healing of the planet. Because I do feel like the masculine energy has been, a, even though feminine energy has been a bit tampered with. Yes, we do require feminine, masculine energy because there will be work to be done. There will be work to be done. There is work, there will be work to be done. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. It's like in the future setting. But maybe that's no. Maybe that's what this is saying to me, no. Instead of feeling things in the future, things from the past, it's about aligning to no. And oh my God, oh my God. And knowing that no, I am doing the work, no. And it is how I do the work, no. And what focus I'm doing the work with, no. And knowing that the work I'm doing, no, in this moment, is what for healing and well-being of this planet i'm actually working now i feel like this is what this is saying to me the lion's gate energy is pulling is clearing out something and today today is the last day to visualize to hope to dream to wish for what it is that you want out of this experience for yourself you know create your vision in detail okay this is your vision See, the Ace of Pentacles and the, and, the, and the Ten of Pentacles, this is your vision in detail. So focus, focusing, Ace of Swords. Remember that we got at first the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Hearts. So this is about focusing and alignment with, your, with the vision of the planet. And I feel today is a very important day for many people to really come to get. Today will be an amazing day because let me tell you when a lot of people come together because remember we're focusing on alignment and becoming one so now i'm not thinking that another person is meditating i'm here about to meditate for my vision of this planet okay and so i literally feel like i can become everyone I can tap into the energy of everyone else, especially those that are meditating as well. And each individual that's meditating or holding their focus and visualizing today, we will feel as one. Let me tell you, it will be like, it's just one, I'm lit it will be one person meditating. 
our one entity, our one spirit, our one vision, our one mission, our one cause. Today, no. Everything is aligning for the future, the vision of the future that we have as spiritual people. And this is what we need to step into. Either we're going to be speaking, or, but I literally feel like, and working, I do feel like moving and taking steps to heal the earth. And I feel like this is today is an opportunity for us to meditate and breathe as as oneness breathe in alignment with the planet remember in the beginning i was saying walking as if you're plugged into the planet and so when everyone is literally plugged or any, everyone that's meditating that's how you're plugged into the the energies and the frequencies of the planet through meditation and so when all of us plug in today if this video gets uploaded today you get to see this my, my phone uploads video it's not very fast and it's gone to 26 minutes already. I should have, I probably, I'm going to do live readings, literally. I can't manage this. Because I have to, I have to explore what I'm saying. Anyway, so, when all of us align today through meditation and have a vision, let me tell you what we'll be visualizing if I see some evidence. Let me get some cards for you. What are, what are things that we can visualize in for the healing and well-being of the planet? Remember I was talking about, um, this wanted to come out, well-being. The two of pentacles is aligning with well-being. Ace of pentacles, two of pentacles. Ace of hearts, two of hearts. This is like literally pure alignment. Eh? It's aligning with healing the planet. Ner oh my God, look at this. Oh, these cards do not play. This is a, um, the queen of wands and the three of wands energy. And this is creator spirit and manifestation spirit. And this is what I'm saying. We'll be able to manifest no because nothing is separate. And so we're asking no and it is already here. It is, oh my God, manifestation will be like this. Now we have three queens on the board. Three queens. So I do feel this relaxed energy, this feminine energy of relaxing and meditating and asking for what it is that we want. And not even asking, but receiving, because it is already done. But when you're relaxed in that state of meditation, set this time aside. Relax in that state of meditation to receive. And I feel like when you, when you, when, when, because you know when in meditation you kind of sink in or sink away from or something, you know. It's, it's, it's like you, you, you are in space. And I feel like when you're in space, that's where that is. This is the space where everyone else that's meditating comes in, and then this space becomes one energy. And so that is how we say the entire planet now is evolving because it's a, a it's like a huge energy actually. You know, it's beautiful. Like, oh my god, I love it. 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 I love it so much. Angel spirits guide. So. I do feel like walking barefoot on the planet today is beautiful. Go outside, walk on the dirt. I feel touch the leaves of the of the plants. Oh my gosh, I feel like crying. I feel like interacting with the earth is beautiful today. Just interact with earth, and interact with not just. I mean, interact with your family and your friends. Love people today. Touch someone. Caress someone. Whisper words of encouragement and love. Just show love today and be love and receive love. And be today, just be open to receiving love. If you've never received a compliment well, receive that compliment well. It's coming from love. And give compliments from love. It's all love today. I do have this, this urge to really be outside with my feet on the ground. No. That's the energy. Oh, because I'm saying plugging into the earth. That's like grounding too. So grounding through meditation and grounding through connecting with the earth because the earth is grounding energy. I do feel like if a lot of people are literally barefoot outside today, it will be amazing. Especially, I feel a lot of people outside today holding hands around a tree or something. I'm telling you the honest truth. If you can be outside today with some with, with other people, if you're in the environment to do so, go outside with a lot of people, children, adults, elders, whatever it is, and hold hands and stand barefoot with around trees, amongst the trees, and just, and just swing hands and laugh and have fun, feel good. That's how I'm, and just be love. I love it. It's so beautiful. Touch, and I feel even take care of your own self because 
touching yourself, like loving on you. That's the Ace of Cups heart, um, energy, the Heart of Hearts energy. This is the energy which you don't need anything from ev anyone because it is innately within you. Hey, Three of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Okay, we have the Queen of Cups now. And we have the Three of Cups. We have the Queen of Wands. And we have the Three of Wands. And I'm doing one last shuffle to see what other message we want to come out. We're definitely waiting. This change is upon us here. Hey, so it's not about separation anymore. Listen, it's beautiful. Working in alignment. It's And this energy is going through the gate, whether we like it or not. It's just happening. It's just... It's just like a, a thing that moves through the planet. It's just like this frequency that moves through. It's going to happen one way or another. Some people are awake to it and some people are not. And so when you get the wisdom to, to align with earth like this, it's so beautiful. Thank you for being here. Thank you to my angels and my spirits and my guides for helping me to get accurate messages and i appreciate all of your 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 support your guidance in my readings i love it i appreciate you thank you so much for standing by me thank you to everyone that watched my videos and listened to my messages thank you for all of your support on my channel thank you for commenting for liking for sharing thank you for all that you do here thank you for just being here i love it i love you okay thank you so much honestly it's so beautiful that we <laughs> I feel like crying, all right? It's just so amazing. Hmm. Okay. All right. So I'll be I'll be feeling your energy today while I'm meditating. So yeah, and, and listen, this is my card. This is the Ten of Pentacles is my card of telepathic communication as well. Oh my god, this is like on a frequency, telepathic communications. So there's something, there's alignment of masculine, feminine energies working together. And there's also communication with the spiritual field. Ten of Pentacles repeated, Eight of Hearts. And transmission, are, transmission is sent through our, our heart frequency too. So that's what I'm saying. It's all about love, the Eight of Hearts, following the direction of your heart space. And that's how you send literally, it's whatever you're connected to in your heart, your family. So listen out today for people that if you think of someone that you love and they call you, or you, they just, just a pop up in your mind. It's that frequency that the planet is on now. It's communicating with each other telepathically because we realize that we're already one. We're all one. And nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible. It's like breaking the feelings of limitation. The death energy is bringing in something beautiful. The tower energy on the bottom of this deck here is saying it's just time for this to clear out. It's just, it has to happen. It's like every now and then someone has to detox. It's not, re it's not even like detox. It's more like a reset. That's the energy. It feels like every now and then something resets in a way that it, it enables evolution of, of something. So what have we been learning on this planet all this time? It is time to, to accumulate, to gather and to come as one with all that we've learned and where we want this vision to, to move forward. This what I'm saying is like, it's like this force that will come together, this energy, you know, like Goku energy when you're gathering all of the energy in one place, Goku energy, okay? And then Goku sends this Kamehame out. So that force, the energy is gathered and that gathering of energy is all of us coming together and then sending out this power to visualize is where the Ace of Pentacles is saying to me. That, that, that power, that, that stream of power that goes out to visualize that destiny. Knowing that you have command of your own destiny. But I do feel a lot of our destinies, our idea of the future is in accordance. Because we love earth and we're here to heal. So you may think that what you want is different from another person's. And are you, so, you know, so just, just, just stay true to yourself and your vision. And visualize what your vision is. Because I know that your vision has to do something with has something to do with healing the planet, loving the planet, loving yourself more, healing yourself more, wanting to feel more well-being. So visualize what you want. What have I been experiencing all my life? Pain. What do I want? So you're going to gather all the feelings of pain now. What have I been experiencing all my life? And then you're going to use that to create a vision for yourself. 
this is what I want instead. And today is the day to manifest that because you'll have help because you won't be alone. The planet is on your side and this is the opportunity to manifest your vision in detail. And that is what I have for you. I love you a lot. I love you. <laughs> and let me tell you, we have the magician energy here too. And we have the high priestess. So this is no joke. The magician and the high priestess creating your vision in detail. It's so beautiful. Create your vision. All right, I'll leave that message there for you, Cancerian and authors. Um, so, mm. so sometimes the challenge can be not being able to vision or visualize a unity between two because we're saying this is different this energy is too different than i am how can we meld how can we come together but the divine is saying there's so much you don't know who made you why are you here and the divine is watching over you protecting you guiding you directing you so i feel it's very important to, to lead by your heart space because that is where the frequency really pumps through you your heart Whatever frequencies you're picking up or sending out is going out through your heart space. So breathe, especially breathe into your heart. Because a lot of people, a lot of hearts need healing. This is about healing of the heart to really vibrate higher and ascend. Meditation. Meditation makes me high. Meditate. We have the four of swords energy here. Yes, so lockdown, you are in this lockdown for a reason, to visualize, to meditate. Hmm. Okay, so something new is on its way here, and this is profound. It's taking its time. I feel like people are moving away from the ideas of separateness and being alone and self-sufficient and independent. I'm moving into creating stronger communities. You know what I'm saying? It's taking its time and it's something that we all are desiring to do. We have some urge or some inclination to follow this journey, to follow our hearts, to follow these desires, to follow these energies. And some of these energies really get us excited. They entice us. They want us to move forward. These energies are divinely connected when you're in alignment. Look, I feel like we see the, the, the page of ones here. This person is, I feel, connected to earth energy and moving in alignment with earth. And then in the future, we have the ace of ones, which is this brand new beginning. It's like we're being handed after something clears out. We're being handed a brand new beginning. And not handed as if from someone else, as if we didn't have, uh, as if we didn't have a part to play in it but granted or handed in because of us. And now we have the King of Cups energy, which is saying masculine presence is very beautiful, dominant and presence here too. Because the masculine that is water cancer, water sign, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, that is able to focus, meditate, to visualize is amazing. And they're amazing because they are able to manage their emotions. Because when you know emotions, you're able to feel, to sense, to create, to manifest. And that is why the magician card is also here. Because you manifest through your emotions. Not everyone can be disciplined and grounded. But I feel the king of cups can be disciplined, grounded, knowing how to save energy, use energy. That's the energy. Like the king of cups is not one that follows trends. This king of cups sets trends and not even tries. This king of cups just be who they be. Let me tell you, that is Cancer Pisces Scorpio. And then the Emperor is the Emperor card comes out, which is work. And I feel dedication to work as well. Commitment. Try here, trial, commitment to trial. Because maybe we will be facing trying times, and this is why we need to know who we are on this planet. Because some may, someone may challenge your stability, your mental stability, your emotional stability. Challenge your beliefs. Challenge your vision of the future. To say, you can't have that. That is impossible. You know? So you have to be firm and strong. In the midst of all your enemies, you have to be firm and strong. Emotionally. And give thanks. It thanks. Okay, some people might be afraid of leaving people that they love behind. 
those that don't believe but will you it's up to you <laughs> i want to share a vision with you this video is 40 minutes i had a vision once where i was to move on and transcend you know what <laughs> because something I, i'm gonna take keep that one to myself if if but it's about moving on and transcending and not feeling like you're you you have to save everyone literally that's the energy because i sometimes feel like i have to save everyone but my vision was telling me something about myself okay because sometimes with the five of swords energy here we need to disconnect and move on and stand on our own and be in defense and know what path we're on and not to get distracted so sometimes your 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 adversaries may present themselves in the form of family, loved ones, jobs, things that you're literally connected to, material things too, physical material things, and you don't want to let them go. You're wondering, how am, I, how am I going to survive or move on without these things? And so that's where your true strength shines. You have to be firm and strong emotionally with the King of Cups energy. Okay? And the outcome we have, the devil, motherfucker. Why the devil? I do not know. Because maybe it is the, it's the, the idea of attachments. Because the, the Five of Swords came out in the reverse. It is the idea of certain attachments are being blocked or being stopped. Oh, listen, let me tell you. Oh, let me tell you what this is. Hmm. This, is a, this is adversary. This is coming up on a roadblock. This is being told no. This is, this is a strong no. This is a strong energy that is about to, like you're moving on your journey. And this devil energy says no. You can't do it. There's no way for you to do it. You have no voice here. What do you think this is? You can do what you want. Or, or for example, you can't fly here. Like this, this, this devil card will be trying to stop your manifestation. It's going to try to act, make you feel like you have no control, no voice, no say. But listen, the devil energy is charged by the king of cups. Knowing who you are, remaining firm. Remember, I'm saying you, you're going to need to be firm and strong here. We have the magician on the bottom of the deck. And I feel like the magician is telling me to tell some of you that are still here now that work in secret, work in quiet. You don't have to be so loud about what you're doing else. These, this is when the challenges present themselves to you. Work quietly. You know, within your own heart space, within your own mission, you know. So you can go outside, walk barefoot. You don't have to say, I'm going outside to walk barefoot because I'm trying to love the planet more so that it can heal. I mean, that's beautiful to say that. But if you're in an environment... circumstances or there's a possibility that you may get opposed it's it's okay for you to do it within your quietness so just go outside and love the earth remember that you're one and remember telepathic connection so ask for it to help to guide you and connect you with those your spirit tribe with those that you love and vibrate with they're here with you for you by you through you in you as you you're not alone and sometimes we think we're alone and, so, and that keeps us from making the necessary steps forward. And sometimes we make distractions and addictions and all kind of things keep us from going forward and not knowing how to let go and move forward. And so we may come up on a halt or an opposition, adversary. But listen, the fight is tough. Where are the scars? You're going to push through this to the other side. Journey in victory at your adversary's demise. Build strength, raise the bars, and when the bat battles come, rise. Where will this life take you? Where will it go? So, really, know who you are and rise through any adversary. And let me, t let me get one more card. Let me get one more card. We'll be celebrating, I know that for sure. And we'll be celebrating loud and proud as one collective body. I do feel like I, re I made, I did a video the other day about the internet going, shutting down. And I feel like after the internet comes back, it will be so beautiful. And the collective of humanity will be standing up and cheering from all across the world. All across the world. People will be celebrating. It will be like watching the Olympics. You know when you're watching the Olympics, everyone is tuned into the TV and cheer, possibly cheering at the same time across the globe. 
You see how powerful that is. The amount of energy people are sending up collectively at one time watching the TV screen. Or, for example, if you're in church, collectively sending up that energy to one entity. This is what we need to be doing. We need to be doing. Okay? Oh, I feel like I lost something right there. So, send up your energy. What was I saying? Why did I lose that? Because I'm saying, um, sending up the collective energy. Because when you're outside and you are, oh my God, what was I saying? Watching the TV, watching sports and sending up the energy collectively as one. We'll be celebrating as a, okay, right. So I'm saying something will happen. It's not, it, and we're all going to be across the globe celebrating as one. And we're not watching TV to do it. We're not watching Olympics to do it. We're not watching 2020 Olympics in 2021 to do so. We're actually in our hearts just standing up. And I feel our being outside and lifting up our hands and giving thanks and praise. Well, it's like a celebration. And I feel it is all across the globe people there's something huge happening it's as if when someone runs a race and win and the entire world just stands up and cheers cheers loudly there'll be a reason why everyone will be outside at a particular time cheering and giving thanks i'm not sure what this will be maybe it will be a, a great news across the planet that says something about um freedom or enlightenment or people realizing how beautiful they are and learning how to manifest. It's just so amazing. We will be celebrating. Any other messages for the collective? Life's final messages. Ancestral spirit guides. What's that? Um, okay. <laughs> that is a ten the dream. This is my dream come true. Oh my God. This is amazing because I'm being told that my dreams, your dreams are, and this is happy. Like someone is like happily telling, like someone is like, you know, you have a gift for someone and you're like, Hey, I have this, your dream is coming true. Like they know your dream is coming true and you're about to celebrate three of cups, 10 of cups energy dream come true. <clears throat> yep. Look, Remember that the three of cups have people throwing their hands up in the air celebrating. And the ten of cups has the same on my cards. On my tarot cards. People throwing their hands up in the air outside celebrating. And so the cards wanted me to show you that energy and to tell you, yes, we will be celebrating whatever this devil energy is. Any final, final messages as I end this shuffle? I feel like that's it. I feel like this is saying, okay, go take a break and take a rest now. <laughs> I feel like I feel like that's what this is telling me to do. Like I'm being told, it's okay, go 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 and take a break now. Take a rest. Go take go have a rest now. Pack up the cards. Go have a rest. It's okay. You've done enough. Alright. Judgment card at the bottom of the deck. And we had the ace of the six of pentacles and the king of pentacles. Everything will be alright. This feels like, don't worry about a thing. Because every little thing is going to be all right. Because the devil energy for me feels like it just has to be the devil. It's just that, that thing that makes you stronger, an obstacle to overcome. And when you overcome it, you're going to be stronger. It presents itself as something tough and scary. Yes, it has to. I mean, it can get really deadly. I know that's the devil energy. But at the same time, it has to pretend to present that way. And when you know that it has to present that way, it kind of gives you an upper hand to know that, oh, this is, this is really a challenge. But it has to present as scary. You know, like the Wizard of Oz energy where the, the man behind the curtain is really, is really not intimidating at all. But he has to present as being scary. It, it has to present this illusion. And it does whatever it has to. To give this illusion of being intimidating and scary. And I feel like once you pull the curtain from off of what this devil. Or all of us 
So that's what I'm feeling like going inside and not focusing externally because the devil energy presents externally, right? And yes, things come in internally before it goes external. But when you're focusing on what is already manifested, it keeps you feeling like you have no, the, you, you don't really have the ability to manifest any further. Like you don't have the space within you to do so, right? So you have to real, sink down and realize there is space within you. That's what med meditation does. It causes you to sink into space. Remember I was saying space earlier. Sinking into a space where you're not alone. And you feel brave. You have faith. And you literally feel connected to the divine. And when you're connected to the divine, you're not afraid of the devil. When you're connected to the divine, you're seeing the devil from a different angle. Like literally sinking down in yourself and seeing the devil, whatever this devil energy is. From a different angle, a different perspective. Okay, and then it is, I don't, I feel it won't necessarily be a challenge for us anymore. So in this society, maybe the devil energy we would say is the lockdown. Oh, listen, the devil energy is the lockdown. It's keeping us from traveling and connecting and all these things and going to school and socializing and working and making money. But listen, meditating in the, in the, in the wake of this devil or in the presence of this devil energy that we're faced with is actually helping us to create a vision for what we want next hello so let me share it i'm here in lockdown i would love to be able to travel anywhere and everywhere in this world i feel like i want to see and experience every crevice and corner physically especially the most beautiful parts I want to go to Africa. I'd love to see Africa. So I, maybe before I wasn't even thinking of traveling to certain parts of the world. But no, I'm like, I want to travel to Africa. I want to see the pyramids. I want pyramids. I want to, I, lit, I would like to go to India. I want to be in so many different places because I know I've been to many different places before. And uh, it's that energy. Or you, you want to create a, a business or do something that you've never explored before. Just because there's this opportunity to, to really sit with yourself and know what you want. Because humanity for so long have been distracted with this television and cheering at Olympics and not, and not manifesting for themselves and not realizing that you do have the space to manifest for yourself. All right? So use this time to meditate. Tap into your water energy. For those of you who have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, in any placements in your chart, do check out my, my Cancer readings, Scorpio, Pisces readings, all right? They're very beautiful. I'm getting so many different powerful messages for the sign of Cancer. Amazing. It's because, so it's this time for healing and well-being and to spread love, all right? Much love. This is the end of your reading. I do hope you enjoyed these messages. Thank you so much for coming through. I... <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. And um, until next time, take care, go meditate, go outside, get some sunlight, breathe. I feel like even the air will be different today. So go outside and breathe. And um, breathing helps you to clear up, clear up whatever blockages you may be facing. So if, this, if these messages resonate with you, are inspiring or helpful for you in any way, shape or form, go ahead and consider supporting my channel by sharing this video with those you love leave a compliment behind by hitting the like button compliment the video compliment my message here and let youtube know that you enjoy messages like these if you want to see more from me also if you have not subscribed to my channel as yet do go ahead and subscribe all of your support is greatly appreciated thank you so much there are other ways to reach out to me, to connect with me, to ask questions, personal readings, to donate, to, to whatever you want. Just find that. You can find that information in the description box below. All right. Thank you so much. And I'm looking forward to getting to know many more of you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Much love.